an immense variety of species of plants, insects, amphibians, reptiles, birds, fish, and mammals can be a part of a wetland ecosystem. Today, we take a closer look at one of our local wetlands, the Black River Morass, and a few of the wetland animal dwellers found there. The Black River Morass is one of Jamaica's larger wetlands and is situated on the southwestern coast of the island in the parish of St. Elizabeth. This site consists of a lower morass and an upper morass. The lower morass comprises the 5,700 hectare Ramsar site designated in 1997. A Ramsar site is a wetland site designated to be of international importance under the Ramsar Convention known as the Convention on Wetlands. The upper morass encompasses an area of 1,762 hectares and is a freshwater wetland with many tributaries and streams, also a designated game reserve. Both are ecologically significant freshwater wetlands at both local and international levels and provide habitat for endemic, endangered and threatened species. The Black River Morass is an important bird and biodiversity area IBA. IBAs are globally important sites designated by BirdLife International for the conservation of bird species. 149 species of birds have been observed and reported in this IBA. 66 of these species are classified as winter visitors and 12 as Jamaican endemic species. Some of these Jamaican endemics include the Jamaican owl, the Jamaican mango hummingbird, and the Jamaican woodpecker. Common aquatic bird species include the great egret, which is very common in wetlands, the osprey, which is a common winter resident, and the northern jacana, which is a common resident locally called pond coot or Jesus bird. The Black River Morass IBA is also considered to be the last stronghold of the West Indian whistling duck, a Caribbean region endangered species and is listed as near threatened on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. The lower morass provides nurses among the mangroves for shrimp and fish which are of commercial value such as the tarpon, snook, jack, and snapper as well as the endemic tiki tiki. Reptiles of the lower morass include the American crocodile, Crocodilus acutus, which is an endangered species and is also protected under the Wildlife Protection Act of 2000. Several species of endemic anolis lizards, including the Jamaican giant anole, the Jamaican turquoise anole, the Jamaican striped foot anole, the Jamaican opal-bellied anole, and the Jamaican twig anole. Also, the endemic freshwater turtle called the Jamaican slider. Amphibians of the Black River Morass include the endemic Jamaican masked frog, which is an endangered species, and introduced species such as the cane toad and the American bullfrog. Over 50 species of butterflies have been observed in and around the Black River Morass, inclusive of several endemic species and subspecies, such as the Jamaican black swallowtail, the Jamaican callisto, and the Jamaican mestra. Wetlands are among the most productive habitats on Earth providing shelter and nursery areas for commercially and recreationally important animals like fish and shellfish, as well as providing wintering grounds for migrating birds. 
Wetlands are a home to many diverse, unusual, and unique species. It is important that we protect and conserve these areas. Thank you for watching. This was brought to you by the Natural History Museum of Jamaica.